Welcome back everybody. A local church is about to reopen its doors, not for parishioners, but for performers. That's right, a former church in Stanton Heights is being transformed into a new home for up and coming comedians. Selena Pompiani gives us a PTL first look at the Steel City Arts Foundation and explains its mission. So this is the former chapel. Um, perfect ceiling for acoustics, which is wonderful. Um, the one thing the previous owner did that doesn't work for our plan is they pulled out the stage. Putting in a new stage is on Steve Hofstetter's to-do list as he reconstructs this former church in Stanton Heights into a space for comedians to live, work, and play. I enjoy being a comic a great deal, but one of my favorite things is being able to help someone else achieve that same goal. Comedian and entertainer Steve Hofstetter is an online sensation. This YouTube video has over 6 million views. Hold on, I got this. Tell me this. <laughs> what? How many children have you had? Has anyone ever ordered a pizza by accident? I've made my bones on Facebook and YouTube. There are people who are Instagram famous. There are all these different apps that comedians can use to further their onstage craft and their offstage craft at the same time. And part of our mission is teaching that. And so I created the Martin Foundation and the Martin Grant in order to help stand-up comedians quit their day job and concentrate on their art full time. Um, I named it in memory of my father, Martin. So we gave out $31,000 grants this past year in order to help work in comics survive not being able to work. Our own little stimulus package. For years, every couple months, I would just go on LoopNet and look at old properties, old churches, banks, movie theaters, something like that, where the building was as cool as the idea. And I found this, and here we are. But why Pittsburgh? I found Pittsburgh to be a lot like the average stand-up comedian. A lot of grit, a lot of heart, and consistently underestimated. To be based here would be a wonderful thing for a stand-up comedian. It is within a short drive of 18 other stand-up comedy markets. This will be the podcast studio slash uh, green room and lounge. So the podcast table and equipment will be all over this way. The previous owner was a record producer and already jump-started the studio. This space on the other side of the basement will be used for writing, designing, and editing. And tucked away right behind the church here on Stanton Courts is this detached three-bedroom home. This is where the comedians can stay for months at a time for free as they're honing their craft. For the residents living here, they will have updated bedrooms and bathrooms with a washer and dryer included. They will also have access to this full gym. Exercise bike, treadmill, etc. Back on the upper level in the chapel, or chapelle, as Hofstetter jokes, will host bigger performances, lectures, art shows, weddings, and other events. Everything is going to be subject to permitting, zoning, and what we're actually able to do. Uh, these are currently all just ideas. Big ideas and big dreams that Steve Hofstetter is turning into reality one day at a time. My father's favorite things were charity, even though he had no money. He would donate his time constantly. Um, home improvement, which is what we're going to be doing a great deal of in this space, and stand-up comedy. And so to be able to combine all of those things at once um, allows me to help create a legacy for my father that I don't think he ever imagined he would have. Reporting for PTL, I'm Selena Pompiani. Wow. I love everything about that story. Yeah. I love his dream and vision for the place, and I also love, we know that comics this past year has been so difficult for them, yes. and for him to start something to help them, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, comics need, a stand-up comics need to keep moving to make money for themselves, exactly. for the family. We've seen it firsthand, what it has done. And this, this seems like uh, like a little university, like a little college exactly. for comedians. Yeah, it's a great idea. And since they're in a residential area, yeah. they want to be a good neighbor. So they plan on holding community events and classes that will enrich the neighborhood. And he also wants to hold summer comedy classes for kids. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I know. You were ready to <laughs> like sign ready up. To, yeah. <laughs> he also wants to participate in charity dinners, toy drives, and uh, do stuff for the holidays as well. Uh, but you would sign up for the I comedy really class would. in a yeah. second, I know. And you can see how much he really is carrying over his father's virtues yeah. and what he believed and all that. Still, Steel City AF is set to open later this year, and we are so excited to follow their progress. Thank you so much for letting us share this story. Yeah.